Hey y'all, it is Shea Cherie, and today we are making these beautiful yet simple Monstera leaf earrings. Let's go over the supplies that you'll need and go ahead and make it. You will need two pieces of 20 gauge wire. They're each cut to about three inches. You'll need two ear wire hooks two 10 millimeter beads, four six millimeter beads, four six millimeter brass rings, and two Monstera leaf charms. So we'll go ahead and start with one piece of the wire and we're going to make our own eye pin. Or if you have eye pins already, you can use those instead of making your own. Oh, before I do that, you also need round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, flat nose pliers, and flush cutter pliers all right so you will take your chain nose pliers and we're going to make a loop on one of the wires so what i do is bend down a length of it depending on you know how big you want your loop to be i don't measure how much i bend down um, but you'll bend the wire and then take your round nose pliers and curl it back in the opposite direction to make your loop So you can fully close your loop tightly here, or what I'm going to do while we're here is open it back up a little bit and slide on my charm. And then we'll make sure we close it tight because we don't want our charm sliding off. And sometimes I just use my chain nose to straighten it out a little bit and tighten it a little bit. All right, so now we've got our wire with our charm hanging off. So you'll take a six millimeter bead, a six millimeter brass ring, 10 millimeter bead, six millimeter brass ring, and a six millimeter bead. And of course, if you want, you can change the colors of the beads. You can do a more intricate or longer design going up the wire. I'm going to end it here and we're going to cut off our excess wire and make a loop at the top so we can attach our ear hook. So again, we're going to do the same thing. Try to do it in the loop in the same direction as you did your bottom loop. So I generally hold the bottom loop in place while I bend the top loop or the top piece of the wire for the loop. And again, I don't measure this part, but cut off en enough to leave yourself some room to make a loop. Curl that back onto itself in the opposite direction for your loop. And again, I'm not going to close it all the way just yet because we are going to add our ear hook. All right, as I hold that in place, then I can fully close the loop. And take your chain nose pliers and just straighten up that loop. Make sure it's tight. You may have to use your fingers to adjust. Make sure everything is sitting straight on the wire. And here we go. All right, we'll do one more. Thank you. 
These are the finished earrings. Let me know in the comments below if you would rock these. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.